minus 140. You've got Joe Boyle and the A's at plus 130. Total of eight with a little bit of juice to the over at minus 115. Kenny, let's go to you here. I was so happy because I was really close. And we talked about this a lot last year. If you're betting the A's, you can trust the guys in that bullpen. It was a historically bad bullpen last year. Um, and I'm curious. I was getting, I wanted to actually test text base winner at like midnight last night when I'm looking at this to wonder what that bullpen is ranked this year, according to his chart. But I liked what Joe Boyle started three games for them at the end of last year. And this is one of these young guys coming up who they like and looked really good in those three starts. I was really tempted to take the A's first five here. If, you, if you're if you trying to find a reason to back the A's, today in the first five I think makes sense. What do you like here, Sox A's? Give me Joe Boyle over five and a half strikeouts. Uh, I love this dude. This is me just hoping that uh, my, my snipe of my MLB fantasy draft in the last round was indeed a good pick. But I'm buying stock mm. in Joe Boyle. Dude is 6'7", seven, seven, throws straight gas. Uh, I'm pretty mm. sure in his last start last year, he carried a no-hitter like into the seventh inning. This is like one of the few moderately exciting things happening in the A's organization. And look, I, I know early in the year, strikeout props are a little dicey. We don't know what kind of leash that these guys are going to have. But there's going to be... 150 people in the stands at this game. If he's out there and he's comfortable and he's shoving, I don't think that they're going to take him out. I think they got to give these fans something to watch here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to buy some early stock here because I think if he has a good game, his number could be at like seven and a half the rest of the way. This guy is a strikeout machine. He's got some Mm -hmm. nasty stuff. He was really flashing it during the the few uh, spring training appearances he had. And again, this organization is a dumpster fire this is one of the few bright spots let him shine i think joe boyle has a night uh b dub this is just for you when he's when you're shoving the idea is to not have to take it out that's the reason i got that humiliating vasectomy story a couple of years ago b dub so i could shove and keep it in you know what i mean you don't want to have to take it out when you're shoving uh i love joe boyle here i like this number over five and a half at minus 113 Am I crazy here for loving Joe Boyle? And I would love to get your numbers on the A's bullpen. Have they improved since last year? Are some of these guys getting better? What do we got? I would say that they're bottom three. In fact, I would say that they're 28th by the base winner ratings. Uh, Yeah, it's not a good bullpen. I think Boyle does have uh, uh, some ceiling, though, and I would agree uh, with Kenny. As far as my pricing goes, I'm not going to do anything with this game. I've got it priced at minus 142. And in the market, it's priced at minus 135 uh, for the Red Sox. And, and I'm not going to do anything with this game. But I will say, uh, if you look at his uh, stuff plus, that is that is the person who is Joe Boyle of the A's. It's 99 percentile. Uh, and that's that's impressive. He, he's he's a, ahead of a lot of really good pitchers. Pitching plus is in the 86th percentile, so certainly some upside there. And then if you talk about, uh, and I think this is kind of an interesting stat, uh, if you look at Boston, uh, you wouldn't think of them, maybe you would, but I don't think of them as a high strikeout team. But if you look at my ratings uh, collectively, they're at a 24.6 strikeout percentage uh, over their last collectively 150 plate appearances, and that's 21st in baseball. So uh, in the bottom 10 in a bad way as far as striking out against pitchers. So I, I would agree uh, with Kenny, and it's it's really nice to see. I know I know Corby does a lot of prop playing, and I, I personally don't. So it is nice that Kenny's getting involved in the prop market, and he really got involved the other day uh, with that stolen base prop, which was probably, uh, I'd argue, maybe the best play on the history of the MLB show, Kyle. Don't give me well, don't give I mean, me too much credit early on. I mean, Rangers twenty to one to win the pennant last year. That's not the best one on the oh, show. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 let's let's get away from the futures though. But like a single game like this has anybody yeah, it was, hit a, no. a five to one? I don't think it's happened. Um, yeah, so, no, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. Congratulations for you not being an a hole and and uh, you know degrading his play, rather jumping on it. And, and I loved uh, it. I guess negative to me for not for not jumping on it. Although I did like his analysis, it really was good. You almost said I mean, two. I mean, you were you were able to get him for two stolen bases at like forty to one, uh, and I think oh he was on God. base two more times throughout the game and like went for it, and then it just they oh, they got negated by foul balls. So uh, yeah. just keep an eye on his price the rest of the season, man. Again, I'm going to prefer him when he's at the top of the lineup. They've they've moved him back and forth between the the leadoff spot mm-hmm. and the nine hole. Um, but if he's at the top of the order, man, you can get it at better than four to one. They're sending him every time he's on the base path. Yeah, I uh, I think it's like I. 
caught myself, was it yesterday or the, the day before? And certainly hope you all had a happy Easter and a good holiday with your families as well. But I caught myself looking for the leadoff guys and then scrambling through to see what their stolen base. Because, you know, if you're going to give me a leadoff guy and a crazy number, I'm going to go for it. Why the hell not? Yeah. Stolen bases are back. Stolen bases are back in baseball. And uh, I think it's uh, something to keep an eye on. For purposes of this show, we're locking in. My, I love Joe Boyle. I, I, this is just one of the young guys I like. Joe Boyle, over five and a half Ks for Kenny against the Red Sox today at minus 113. All right. All right. 